So this is one of the most challenging projects I've ever undertaken. That is Orchinite, which is uranium ore. I'm just to show you this, uranium ore. I'll stick that in there. You'll find this goes up to, bear in mind about point 0.1 is uh, background. So this is like, uh, you know, about 100 times background, that sort of thing. Um, so, question is, how do you turn that into uranium metal? Now, orchinite is about eh, 50 odd percent by weight uranium. So the first, and uranium, by the way, is the same density as gold. And this is also not far off the density of gold. These, these, these guys. This is a Russian wedding ring. And the reason these guys are cool is because they're chiral. They sort of roll one over the other. And if you count the order it goes, this goes silver, bronze, gold, and if I turn it around, you'll find it goes silver, gold, bronze. It's the other way around. So these things are chiral. Anyway, so this is also actually three types of gold here. And so the first question, how much, how much metal do you actually need to make a ring? Now these are sort of balances you can get off eBay for about 10 bucks. And the ring weighs about five grams. Now the orginite is about 50% by weight uranium, give or take. And um, making metallic uranium is really very technically challenging in the uranium metal is hard uh, harder than steel um, it melts about the same temperature as gold and it's air sensitive so if you if you get it too hot in the atmosphere it'll oxidize and so to go back to uranium oxide anyway so the first thing that we'll do with this is we've got to dissolve it now, orchinite is basically a mixture of calcium phosphate and uh, uranium oxide. And, you know, it's one of those things. Most minerals, of course, aren't soluble in or that soluble in water because they obviously precipitated out of water at some point. Um, but it turns out this stuff is actually fairly soluble in nitric acid. Um, so, first things first, as you'll notice in the background here, I have a jam jar, all the fine destroying chemistry is done in jam jars. Um, and so my first question is, how much orchinite do I actually have here? Is that really full? It might well be actually. It is, that's overweight. That's no good. Okay, let's try one of these. Again, it'll work. Put our uranium ore or orchinite and successful. Next question, how much orginite do we have in there? And it's about 15 grams, almost exactly 15 grams. So next we're going to need some nitric acid. Now nitric acid is one of those acids that I absolutely thoroughly respect. I, you know, hydrochloric acid, I'll stick my fingers in, I don't care that much. Yeah, you wash it off, it's no real problem. Sulfuric, that's the same. Nitric, I have a very healthy respect for. If you get this on you, it stings like you wouldn't believe. I'm actually going to put in 20, 20 mils. The density of this is somewhat more than one gram per mil. That's actually going to be quite a lot of it. Which you should find is that will probably dissolve or start dissolving almost straight away. That should be pretty soluble in nitric acid. That's 10 mils. That should be like 15 grams. Maybe not even. Okay, 14 grams. So I'm going to put in another. Oh, 
Ooh, hey Mills. Oh my God, the crystals are beautiful now. Oh, I've got to zoom in on those crystals. They're dissolving already, but they just look so beautiful. Okay. So I've got to wash that up because this stuff is evil. And that's 24 grams. Good. Now let's zoom in on this because this is now absolutely gorgeous now that it's dissolving. That's, not, that's concentrated here. It's 70% by weight nitric acid there. As you can see, it's starting to dissolve. So um, I'm going to get most of this into solution. This is a purification step to begin with. Um, and once I've done that, I can precipitate it out as a peroxide. And then I think probably what the game plan there is, there's so much that's tricky with uranium. I'll do a separate video with it. But my reckoning is, I think the best chance that I have is to dissolve it in lithium chloride, right? So I, I take this um, uranium oxide, which I'm going to get out of this. I dissolve it in lithium chloride, molten lithium chloride at about 650 degrees Celsius over a thousand Fahrenheit. And then I electrolyze it to get my uranium. And the reason I'm doing it by electrolysis is because it'll be a fairly clean method. And then at the last point, I'm going to have to find some way of casting the metal into a ring. That's fairly challenging. Right, so I'm going to leave that to dissolve for a bit.